This summer, I'm going to conduct an experiment. I'm going to graft a tomato plant onto this potato plant. This is my potato plant. This is my tomato plant, a sucker. What you want to do first is cut a V into the stem of the tomato plant. You want to expose as much cambium as possible. Something like a 45 degree angle is good. You want to make it kind of like an arrowhead, but flat at the base. Here's a close up. Toss it in some water while you prep the potato plant. Here's the potato plant and I'm just removing some of the branches. You want to find the closest diameter to the tomato stalk that you just cut. Here you want to cut a vertical incision into the potato plant, about the same as the length of the tomato plant. Here you'll slide the tomato plant into the potato plant, forming a union. This is where the graft is. It should be nice and snug. And yep, just like that. Next thing you want to do is wrap it in some plastic. You can use saran wrap or uh, cut up a piece of grocery bag. Like I've done here. And you want to secure it with a rubber band or some tape. Now because the stock is kind of thick, I want to fasten it with a, a piece of uh, plastic, like this half of a plastic knife. And I just tape it up so it's nice and snug and secure. There you have it. The first one. Bottom will be potatoes and the top will be tomatoes. It'll pull double duty. It'll spring back to life, the tomato. We'll do it again. Cut the tomato plant in a V shape. Slide it in the, into the potato plant. I've done this about four times to the potato plant. And then we'll track its progress. The top and bottom support each other. So you, it pulls double duty. Double the fruit or vegetable.